Today, I thought I'd make some magical pasta. Now, you may be wondering, what sort of arcane properties does this pasta have? None. It's just that I'm making them out of magic cards. Now, for maximum taste, I would encourage using uh, Magic the Gathering trading cards of high value, and this can also be sentimental value, such as Scorch the Fields, which was my first magic card. Now we're going to be making pasta of the style Ziti Tagliati, I hope I pronounced that right. This is a very round pasta, so in order to create that we're going to be using a marker to help create it. So let's start rolling. So now that we have our pasta done, uh, put that aside, uh, and we should probably get a pot of water to boil. So get some water, and let that boil for a bit. So next, while we're waiting for the water to boil, We'll be preparing a sauce to put on our pasta. So, grab some dice. Ooh, look at the, not, not, not quite a Yahtzee, but what, what do we have here? Ooh, we got, we got four sixes. Ooh, no, five actually, look at that, five sixes. Not bad, not bad, okay. So grab your dice, and then we're gonna put them on the frying pan. Now, so get your dice, and just, Walk them on there and put it on low and leave them there until they're a nice white sauce. Now so far the taste we'll have will be pretty plain, so I would recommend grabbing three sleeves, uh, color of your choice, I chose red, and remove the front away from them, nobody likes to eat that. Uh, now for this, I would recommend using low-quality sleeves, so that way they'll be easier to prepare. And then cut them up into small little chunks. Dice them. Ah, uh, no. Knives don't work for this. Use scissors. So now that your sleeves are all cut up, put them aside for now, because we'll be adding them as the final step. The water is boiling now, so what I would recommend you to do is I would get some pasta and put it right in there and turn the temperature down and just let it soak up that water for a little bit, for about 10 minutes I would say. The dice sauce looks ready. Now I always like leaving it a bit chunky just for flavors, but you can always make it more liquefied if you want, so just pour that into a bowl for now. So it's been about 10 minutes and the pasta is doing great. Uh, I just tried some right here and this is perfectly al dente. So uh, turn, down, turn off the stovetop and bring your water to a colander. So now that you've got all the water out of your pasta, you can stack it in the pot. And now just wait for it to cool down. Mm, drizzle it in white sauce. And add some sleeves. And just like that, we got ourselves a meal. And bon appetit. Mmm, mm, that's good. 10 out of 10. Would, would, would never eat again.